from the moment we wake up to the time we power down. Companies are making AI tools for all parts of your day. Workout routines. Outfit ideas for the day. I'm gonna go plaid. And with a list of ingredients from the pantry. Tortillas, Parmesan, lentils, crab stick. Or just a picture of them. OpenAI's ChatGPT can tell you what to eat. All right, simple zesty quesadilla with crab stick. All right. Some companies are even using it to try to save you money. Tell me how much AI has changed things. AI has leveled up at what you can do by 10x. Joshua Browder is the founder of Do Not Pay, which has helped people challenge parking tickets and predatory subscription fees for years. Now, the company is sticking AI on your bills. So I am watching a robot-on-robot -robot battle right now. Exactly. His AI battles an AI customer service agent and then wears down the human one to fight for significant savings. $100. We went from a $20 discount to a $100 discount in seconds. Even as the creator of the technology, sometimes I'm surprised. I'm surprised <laughs> by how well this is going. The same system can even fight medical bills. We saved a consumer $8,000 yesterday. But this is not an all-knowing answer machine. It's brand new glitchy technology that critics like former Google AI researcher and current Signal president Meredith Whitaker says only imitates human expertise and human taste. This isn't intelligence. This is basically a sort of warped mirror of what's on the internet for the last 20 years. And as she points out, just because AI can imitate us doesn't mean we should do what it says. I think our being easily fooled by them are feeling impressed that like, wow, a robot sounds human is not enough of a basis on which to trust these systems. Trust is the big issue here. Microsoft is working ChatGPT into its search engine, but it makes it show its work. So when the answers come back, people can have confidence and say, well, where did you source that data? Why are you giving me this answer? Because this is all one big public test. Ultimately, the only way you'll really know how to go ride a bike is to get on the bike with training wheels, in the safety of your driveway and go slow. Browder says he has to rein ChatGPT in because, well... The AI lies a lot. And it will say things like, I've had three internet outages in the past 24 hours. And that's not true. And that's not true. Even the quesadillas were a little, well, weird. It's not good, but it's not bad. <laughs> AI is about to speed up what we can get done in a day. But living with AI isn't just an experiment for us. It's an experiment on us as well. Mm. So, uh, you know, you guys, it is a really big moment. It's all happening right now. The AI is coming at us really fast, and it's really important for us to figure out how this stuff works so we know whether to bring it into our lives. I, have, I just really don't questions. understand this. Like, I really don't understand. <laughs> you mean I'm like how to get it out? How where do, do you go? Where is it? Okay. How do you get on chat GPT? So basically, like, there are a million How do it do? That's yeah, right, Al. Yeah. How do it do? do, it do? It so do. The, 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 basically, there are so many different apps coming at you right now. You can go on to OpenAI's site and start playing around with chat GPT now, and there are all these apps right now that have basically put a little wrapper on the front of what is basically one big piece of AI. And that piece of AI has basically, as you heard there, learned from about 20 years of data on the internet. It's everything we've ever written on the internet. It is learning to mimic all of that. It's so scary. And as a result, it sounds, it like, sounds a... like a genius, but it's really just a parrot. But how, how is it learning? Is it is it just so, consuming all of that information? Yeah, about for... three or four years ago, these new technological breakthroughs happened that allowed you to basically pour an incredible amount of internet writing through it so it would pick up the patterns in it and say oh when someone says this they tend to go on to say this uh, and that is why this thing behaves in like such algorithmic. weird ways it's algorithmic it's very very smart on very very specific topics but then it gets weird once you start getting deep into playing around so with it makes sense stories. that you can yeah. I, was, I was asking savannah during your piece i thought okay so if my kids have an essay or if a kid yeah. has oh, a college yeah. entrance essay high school entrance essay oh yeah you it'll know, bang that out in seconds in under a and second, they don't have to Writing. Any of those things. That's right. In theory, they don't have to write it. Now, it's important for any kid watching this right now and their parents to know that there's also software that a teacher will use that will so show recognize. them that will recognize that that has happened. So you shouldn't necessarily get into that. You know, the bigger thing here, right, is just that, like what part of our lives are we ready to let this thing into? Now, it can suggest recipes for you, no problem. But, you know, Google is currently working on a system that would in begin giving you medical advice. Are we ready for that world? You know, and by their own estimation, they say it is sometimes incredibly reliable.
reliable, but there are some areas of bias and other pieces of factual information where it's not as accurate. So it's just a big experiment on all of us and uh, it's happening right now. On the what? medical piece, though, is it true that, that there's AI that is either currently capable or soon to be capable of telling a person that they have cancer? Well, so that is one of the things that AI can be great at, right? So one thing that I think about in thinking about the stuff and writing a book about it and so forth is it's great at really specific tasks. So one of those tasks, for instance, is if you show it a picture of a mole on my back, it is great at predicting it whether or not that mole is going to turn into skin wow. cancer or not because it's been trained on a million photographs of other things. It's in fact better than humans are wow. at doing that thing. But are we ready to let it then, you know, diagnose you on all kinds of things mm. or give you psychiatric advice or mm. give you legal advice? Mm, are we there yet, you guys? I don't know because we don't have any rules in this country about that stuff except around some very specific m medical things. So it's a wide open world and these companies have deployed this stuff very, very quickly and by their own admission, they're basically testing it out on us to figure out <laughs> how Jake, to make Just it real quick, because I, I I saw Megan. What what is it possible that the AI gets smarter than the humans? Like we're ahead right now. Sure. Isn't that like the big horror story? I mean, that story is the big horror story. Premise? It certainly is what everybody talks about, right? Is that Terminator moment? Skynet yeah. becomes you can't turn it off, blah, 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 right? Yeah. I yeah. think that the most immediate thing, the way that experts that I'm talking to are, are worried about, is not so much that it becomes self-aware and enslaves us all. It's that it somehow makes us give up really essential human skills and oh. human qualities. That, that we're gonna sense. stop getting paid to write legal documents and stop getting paid to write term papers and the rest of these things that, that you know, have been an intrinsic part of what being What makes human. the human spirit human. That's yeah. right, and we do not currently in this country have a system for protecting that stuff against this kind of technology that can impersonate it. This is as promising as it is scary. That's exactly right. That's it takes exactly humans right. to solve that tricky problem. There we go. Not I'll AI. Trust the three of you. Right? I don't you guys know. working on it. Well, no, smarter humans than us. <laughs> I'm like, hold my hand. We're going to need better humans. <laughs> Jake, thank you very much. Really yeah. thought provoking. Hey, thanks for watching. Don't miss the Today Show every weekday at 11 a.m. Eastern, 8 Pacific on our streaming channel, Today All Day. To watch, head to today.com slash all day or click the link right here.